Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Cupcake Smash here, here, bringing you another video. And today, I am back on the main account, but only for a short time. I'm actually going to switch over to the mini account here in just one second. But what I wanted to show you guys is this. So I'm waiting for the shop, right, to give me a legendary. And what does it give me? A common, a common, and a rare. It. Oh crap! I almost hit the buy 100. That would have been horrible. Like I was trying to tap out, and I just barely hit the buy. Okay, well. That was almost catastrophic, uh, but yeah, two commons in a rare. It didn't even give me an epic. That's like, that sucks. But I'm gonna switch over to the mini account. I made TV Royale again. And here we go, guys. I am in the mini account right now, as you can see. And uh, yes, TV Royale yet again. Now this one I actually did want to feature anyway because it was a very strange battle, so I'm gonna get into this. But guys, now we are at 6,500 as of the time of recording this. So we are a 1,000 away from my... Uh, Super Magical Jess Spree. I'm trying to decide what to do exactly. I kind of want to make it as interesting as possible, so I'm, I'm thinking. But here we go. We're going to start off. He's going to go with the Goblin Barrel. That was pretty bad for me because, A, I didn't have... Well, I didn't have either my Arrows or Skeleton Army. Either of those would have been an amazing counter. And then I drop a P.E.K.K.A. off the opposite side lane. So I'm not doing well already. He's going to have his barge, but I'm going to surround him with the Skeleton Army. That's going to do okay. It's not perfect. But hey, it's all right. Now this Inferno Tower was worrying me because of where it is. The or the Pekka will have some major issues because it will be shot down. So I'm going to try to wait for it to wear out. What I'm going to end up doing is, first of all, I thought the Mini Pekka could hit the tower. Or not the Mini Pekka, the just normal Pekka. But unfortunately with the cannon and the Tesla, it's going to be a swing and a miss. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter push with the Witch and Giant Skeleton. Because of how this went, actually, I'm going to arrow down the goblins first. That's going to make it so my tower is going to stay alive. But now I drop the giant skeleton. His inferno tower is going to run out of juice right as it is going down. So we're going to be able to get on the tower all right. And it's going to be going perfectly fine. Now, the reason I wanted to show you guys this battle, not because it was TV Royale or anything, what, but was because it was a totally defensive deck. He wasn't very good at playing it, though, obviously. I mean, the Tesla sitting back behind the opposite side tower. He should have been throwing the stuff in the middle. But they, these decks are beatable. You've got to catch the mistakes. And actually, I did. I, I'm going to show you the one I caught late. Now, what I did here with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Spear Goblins was because the P.E.K.K.A. was going to go down and take some time to charge up. I dropped the Spear Goblins because that would make it so the Prince's ability wouldn't be able to fire. That's basically why people use the Zap normally. So that's kind of where I was coming from with that. I was going to drop the Skeleton Army because I was worried about the Inferno Tower. That uh, Minion Horde totally changed the plan, though. So I'm going to have to use the Witch to get through them just kind of do some chip damage he's gonna go with the goblin barrel again i throw the skeleton army unfortunately though mispredict and i did that continuously just kept mispredicting now i'm gonna drop the giant skeleton in the center of the map i think uh because that'll get in front of all these skeletons coming towards the tower giant skeleton now going to go up to the tesla he drops the inferno tower on the opposite side but those skeletons are gonna tank for the giant skeleton he's gonna go down now the bomb's gonna go off and boom there it is we have a horde of skeletons going out of the tower right now that's going pretty well and he's gonna have to drop another defense Minion Horde's going to clear up the rest of it, but we've got some pretty good tower damage going down right now. Let's drop some Spear Goblins to help do the exact same thing with the chip damage. I'm going to drop the uh, Skeleton Army again, missing the exact placement, but it's not going to matter because those go that Goblin Barrel did go down fast enough. Now I'm dropping the Giant Skeleton again. As that Inferno Tower is running out of juice, he's going to get uh, right up next to those Barbarians. And now when his bomb goes off because these Skeletons are meeting and everything, they're going to go right on top and they're going to die. Pega is going to turn around kill this musketeer he's got a minion horde it doesn't really matter at this point i've got two pegas and everything down on the field not gonna matter we're gonna get a good two crown victory on that one so here we are guys we're entering the battle right now we're about to hit full elite. yes please be a hut spammer i don't know i've not been playing what the heck? oh he just did the i'll exit the app and hope he uh leaves me alone thing but here we go we're gonna go that witch is gonna do some work she i'll t let her take down the spear golems actually i need barbs out yes that's gonna delay her even more but crap spear golems that's gonna draw the prince into the center the witch skeletons should help me out otherwise i'm gonna have to drop a skeleton army not what i want to do but what i'm gonna have to do in this case pekka going onto the arb hut it's gonna go down he's dropped a bomber that's gonna be able to do some serious work on my skeleton army but unfortunately he's left alone his uh right side tower so we're already taking that down with 50 seconds in the game, this is insane. Pekka is going to get one more hit. Oh, gosh. Dang. Two more hits. Wow. We could go for a three crown if I want to. It really just depends. I think I'll play some defense here. Uh, we've got a very good defensive hand. Uh, I might dump the arrows. Uh, oh, gosh, dude. 
I, I almost, again, feel bad, but it's not going to matter. He drops the, his hut in the remnants of where his last tower was. He should have dropped it between his uh, tower that still is remaining and his king tower. If you play a deck similar to this, that would be my recommendation for you. We're going to throw a musketeer here in case he's going a Valk Prince route. Nah, I think he probably wants to, but he's not going to be able to. These arrows are going to clear out the, skele or the spear goblins, are which is going to be able to take down the Valk. And now, aw, uh, dang, baby dragon just in range of that tower. That's a little bit frustrating, but hey, who cares? We're going to be able to have this witch take care of these barbs. Baby Dragon is still working on the hut. That's going to go down. I don't think there's going to be another round of barbs. No, there's not. And now I can basically do whatever I want to. He's kind of in a really rough situation. I'm going to drop my skeleton army on the mini pegged to try to help out there. Bomber's going to go down with only one hit onto our tower. So we're doing okay. We're about to hit double elixir time. And I think this is where we're going to end it here. So we're going to drop the P.E.K.K.A. right before we hit uh, when the elixir just starts pouring in. So here comes the P.E.K.K.A. going down right now. Now I'm going to drop the... Oh crap, I gotta drop some Spear Golems here, and now the Witch off to the side, that's gonna keep the Prince from ever locking onto the tower, or at least should. Nah, with the Bomber there, he might, nah, the Pega got there in time, so it's gonna be alright for us. The Bomber's gonna go down as well, he probably, is, is he even gonna bother with the Hut, is my question right now. No, probably not, so here we go, we got our Giant Skeleton, he's got his Pekka, we've got our Pekka, and uh, yeah, this is just absolute chaos for him. He's gonna drop a Skeleton Army, that was a good decision, except for the Witch is very, very strong, so he's probably gonna wanna drop a Bomber behind, but I have two Pekkas down, a Giant Skeleton, a Witch, this is absolute chaos, here comes the Skeleton Army, because he did just drop the Bomber, and uh, that's gonna be a good game, dude, I'm sorry, but that's gonna be it right here, boom, there it is, three crown versus the level seven, and he hardly even touched our towers. And here we go guys, hopping back into battle against your mom. I did cut out one battle at this point because uh, I actually did play a pretty skilled player. Uh, he was running a Hog Trifecta deck uh, in essence. And uh, it was, he, he just knew how to play. It's, I, I know that's going to happen from time to time. I can't really be mad about it, but I'm, I'm not going to show it just because I do want to uh, kind of show you what you can do against normal players. This guy was a fresh player into the arena and that was kind of the issue here. Oh gosh. This is going to be so hard to deal with. Please let the witch survive. Yes, perfect. Now, he's so happy about himself. Uh, and uh, he's going to chat spam us, which is uh, very brave of him. But that's okay. We're going to go with the witch giant skeleton. If he chooses not to counter, no, he's going to counter with the giant skeleton. How cute. Uh, I think my giant skeleton's just out of range too, but it looks like we're going to be able to get through his. And uh, that bomb will trigger mine. So all we're going to need to do is do a little bit more chip damage a little later in the battle. Oh, uh, no, it, likes, it actually looks like we're going to get the tower down here. So uh, we'll chat spam him back a little bit. Thanks, thanks, yeah. But now, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to use the skeleton army here, but he did use the... Valk very effectively earlier in the battle. So here we go. We're going to go with a baby dragon here. That There goes the Valk. We're going to go with a P.E.K.K.A. now. That's going to be able to disarm stuff. I heard, though, that the level 5 P.E.K.K.A. is actually equivalent to the level 1 P.E.K.K.A. in strength. And obviously not hit points, but in strength. So that's kind of alarming. Let's go Skeleton Army right here. He just ditched his uh, Valk. Not going to be a very good play for him. There goes his Hog Rider. Just instantly annihilated. And uh, Skeleton Army now going onto this tower. He's going to actually arrow him down. That's a very good choice on his part. It's going to be a positive elixir exchange, but he already lost a Hog Rider to it. So there's not really much you can do, say uh, with uh, how useful it was. He's going to drop a Goblin Barrel, was that, onto the P.E.K.K.A. with level 8 Goblins. But that means it's a level 3 Epic. At least I think so. I think that's what I have. I think that's what I have. It might be nine, It might be a level 2. But here we go, we're going to load up with the Witch right now. I'm going to go with the Giant Skeleton here in just one second. He's probably going to drop his Giant Skeleton. That's okay, though, because uh, he does so much collateral damage, it's not even going to matter. The Witch is going to do some splash damage, so the Skeletons that are coming from the Tombstone should not matter very much. He might actually directly try to counter my Witch, which would not be fun, but uh, he might do it here. So let's go right here with the Baby Dragon. Oh, crap. He is playing better. So let's go with the P.E.K.K.A. here off to the side. Now he's got his Hog Rider. That's going to isolate the Hog Rider though. So now I'm going to let the Skeleton Army flood it. He's got a Goblin Barrel going down. I'm going to actually arrow that. Uh, probably a useless arrow. And uh, there we go. So we're now turning up the lane. I'm going to go... I think he shouldn't have his... I don't think he should have his Giant Skeleton at this point. So I'm going to drop my Witch. And I'm going to go Giant Skeleton in the center here in just one second. Actually, please don't let this Skeleton... No. Yeah, please. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so this Valk is going to like be very, very painful to deal with. Giant Skeleton goes down. Our Witch is going to get a very little amount of damage down compared to what she should have. And uh, now we're going to have to go Skeleton Army here to counteract the Goblins. That's going to do an all right job, though. Actually, a pre pretty good job. So we got a P.E.K.K.A. with the Skeleton Army coming down his lane. Our Skeletons are actually doing some very, very, very strong work. We're going to go with a Baby Dragon in the back. That's going to help deal with these 
skeletons that just keep popping up we're gonna go with a witch here now which giant skeleton is off the table for him or no he can't counter uh, my witch giant skeleton with the giant skeleton so i'm gonna go straight here because those tombstones are taking uh the giant skeleton aggro from the center now all it is is an arrow here that's gonna help me out he dropped his valk way too soon uh, on the center bit so now what i'm gonna do is once this giant skeleton turns around so here we go we're gonna go skeleton army on this mini pega oh no that was so close that giant skeleton Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're going to drop the peg in the center, though. That should distract both the towers. No, it's not going to. That witch is in some trouble. Now, what we're going to do is throw a witch on the tower. That's going to try to help counteract the goblin barrel. And now, no, the peg is going to go the wrong way. We can't even win. No. This guy is so annoying. Like, I'm beating him so badly as far as exchanges go. But we're not going to do it just barely. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video nonetheless. We are getting ready for that chest opening, guys. I'm kind of hoping I can hit Arena 5, but it's gotten a little bit rougher as the season goes on, so I might have to wait for Season Reset. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to be looking forward to that, guys. And, yes, I, I said I mentioned stakes at the beginning. Uh, there might be a rocket involved. It just depends on how that goes. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. Also, I am, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of suggestions for what videos I should make. You guys can definitely drop those in the comments below, what you think you'd like to see from me. But until next time, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like it up and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher here, bringing you another video.